All right, hey guys, welcome to season three here on Build It Like Beckham's. Now I know uh, this YouTube channel has been going for about two years, but we're finally have a permit and ready to start building something. So exciting times. You may notice the format's gonna change a little bit where instead of having nice polished videos, we're just gonna try to do quicker updates, more like on a daily or every other day kind of basis with where the project's at. So that said, you'll also notice I'm gonna start talking a lot faster because we have a lot to do. So starting with our foundation layout, what have we done so far? Well, if you come a little closer, you can see that we first laid it out with um, uh, the kind of the way you've seen us do it before, where uh, we've used uh, two tape measures and we measured a cross angle so that we could um, determine an exact square. So you probably can't see it, but there's a little nail in the ground here. So we found that the way that works best is we put a nail where we want each of the exact corners of the foundation to be and then we can stretch it out with our tape measure so we have these steel tape measures which are a little better for this purpose because they don't stretch as much so we had these ones we we're measuring one way measuring another way and then measuring the cross angle to make sure we had a square rectangle instead of a parallelogram rectangle uh, we we're pretty close on our first try uh, i had to make a couple small adjustments within a few inches and now we're sort of within a 16th to an eighth inch accuracy which is uh, pretty good for a square so then we had our four nails in the ground in all, all four corners we're all squared up and laid out exactly where we wanted to be so then we went and set these batter boards that you can see um, on the outside of the perimeter so uh, it's just a two by four with a couple stakes and it allows us to pull these strings to make a cross uh, at, at, uh, directly over the square. So we use this plumb bob, which kind of gives us an exact line. So if I hold the plumb bob directly over the nail, then we can see that the strings cross exactly above the nail. So we basically we would hold this plumb bob here, we'd pull our strings across, and then we can just adjust our screws in the batter board as needed to get the string directly over. So now we're about to be digging our footings. These nails will have to go away as we do that. So our batter board with the screws are now a source of truth for the squareness of our foundation. So today we're gonna be digging. Before we do that, the other thing to mention is you can see this gravel pad behind me. So the reason we had to do this is that in the soil here, we had our soils report. You may remember quite a while ago, we had the soils guy out. I was climbing around in some holes um, just kind of get the analysis of what the soil is. Anyway, there is a bit of clay in it. If you have clay in your soil, you have to worry about it expanding when wet. And the solution is to have a gravel layer between your concrete slab and the dirt. So this is six inches of compacted gravel behind me. It's um, going to be basically the bottom of the slab. The footings are going to be between here and the string line. So like I said, today we're going to be digging the footings out. It's gonna be 18 inches below the dirt, and there's eventually going to be a two by 12 here. That's the outside of the foundation, which will be about four inches higher. The top of the two by 12 will be about four inches higher than the top of this gravel. So that's the plan. I don't know how long it's gonna take or if this is the end of the episode, but that's it for now. It's time to get digging. All right, hey guys, here we are on the last stretch of our trench uh, going this way been uh, the final, final end of our uh, day of digging here so we've made pretty good progress uh, it's getting dark we'll finish it up today but thought we better film this before before uh, it's too dark for filming so also if you see closer in here we made this little uh, mock example of our form to kind of help describe what I was mentioning at the beginning so this is our 2x12 that is going to be the form edge for our concrete we'll line it up on our streamline like this and that'll be the uh, edge of the actual foundation. So you can see we have a little bit of dirt we'll have to scrape down along the edge. We're uh, trying to do what we call neat lining, where most of the concrete footing is retained by the trench itself. So it's less form work, um, but you've got to be a little bit precise with the digging. So we'll kind of have to come back and clean these edges up. Anyway, that's it for today. We'll uh, see what we end up doing tomorrow. What's up guys? I'm back in the hole. So we finished cleaning up the edges. You may remember yesterday I was talking about how we want to have 
the edge of the trench directly in line with the edge of the form, which using our little prop, you can see it now is, if I scoot this right up to the edge, it's a little tipped, but anyways, yesterday there was a couple inches that we had to shave back, which we've now done. So fortunately we have the uh, claw for the excavator. So we uh, just kind of went around, shaved the edges of all the trenches with that. And uh, we're able to get most of it with the excavator. Had to do a little bit by hand, but uh, took a couple hours, got the edges all shaved perfectly, more or less in line with the string. So that is it for trench digging. We're done with this. Next step, we gotta get our plumbing through the bottom. So we gotta set some drain lines, some conduits, some water lines. After all that's done, we will start forming the edges with the real forms rather than our mock form. So that's it for today. See you next time.